Welcome back to what's happening. So uh, Tamar has a lot to celebrate today. It is her 46th birthday. And on top of it, she released um, a new single today called Change. And on yesterday, there's a show that she's in that we talked about in another video called Queen's Court that just came out, on, I think, on yesterday. And uh, this is where Tamar, Nivea, and Evelyn Lozada were looking for love. Now, if you watch the show, we all, I guess, put two and two together that this guy, JR, who we seen her out six months ago celebrating his birthday, we found out that this is where she met him on the show. But then we didn't see any more of the two of them together. But I assume that's because they didn't want to spoil the ending to the show. Well, it was announced that Tamar and JR are engaged. The Breakfast Club gave her a shout out for her birthday and they said, and we pop in like we won a championship. Well, someone got the ring. They said happy birthday and congratulations to the newly engaged Tamar Braxton. Now, Tamar also pinned a post for her birthday today. She said, it's my birthday, but I have to post the one who puts this cheesy smile on my face. It took me a while to realize that this wholesome, traditional love is the kind that I wanted and needed. We have six children between the two of us, and they mean everything to me. So miss me with the, he has four baby mamas. Thank God for them. We are blessed and drama free. Thank God for my best friend, life partner, and fiance. And then she tagged him, rare breed Nola, the happiest birthday to me ever, my love. Don't miss our whole love story on Peacock. Hashtag Queen's Court streaming now. Now, one of Jeremy's children's mother, she wasn't too happy about this. Um, she shared Tamar's post and then she made a post along with it and said, I have sat in silence for over a year, respecting everyone's privacy while they disrespected mine. I've sat in silence while this person has come into my son's life and caused nothing but chaos and unnecessary drama. While I will not speak on my son's other siblings and what type of relationship their father or this woman has with them. Let me be clear for all who know me and all who know them. This woman is in no way a bonus or stepmom to my son. My son does not mean everything to her. And she has not thanked God for me and truthfully, none of his baby mamas. She has said demeaning, disrespectful and outrageous things about how I have chosen to co-parent with my son's father and the efforts I have made to keep him involved. She has made no effort to meet me, get to know me as a woman or mother and has caused my son's father to miss visitation weekends and birthdays. She said, I'm fine with people sharing their version of the story that they've created for themselves on social media plus television. But what we will not continue to do is involve the son that I raised in someone else's shenanigans. So basically, she is accusing Tamar of not being honest about her relationship with his children and their mothers. Um, she also goes on to say that you know, it's easy to label a woman as a bitter baby mama. She doesn't get any benefit financially or socially by any of this becoming public. And she doesn't desire to be famous or well known. She says what the post today is about that she wants it to be clear that the picture that is being painted is not real and it is not honest. Now, some people chimed in and they said Tamar attracts drama. There's always something then someone else chimed in and they said, I knew it was fitting to be some mess. Now let's see who comes out the woodworks for Evelyn's man. Still ain't going to get us to watch that dang show. <laughs> so um, Evelyn got engaged on the show also. Now this young lady's name is Aniston Jenny. And uh, she shared the Jasmine Brands post uh, about what she had said. And she said, thank you. This is exactly what I was trying to say. It's not about their relationship. It's about my son. Wow. Thank you, Jasmine Brand. Thank you for getting it right. 
So sound off in the comments below. Let me know if you think that she is just looking for um, clout and she's looking to become famous off of all of this and their situation. Or do you think Tamar has done the things that she said? Do you think that Tamar has been demeaning, disrespectful and outrageous about how her and JR have been co-parenting? And do you think Tamar should have left out anything about his four baby mamas and that she thanked God for them because it sounds like she hasn't met all of them. She definitely hasn't met this young lady. Um, and the fact that she says that they're blessed and drama free. This other baby mama seems to think differently, but let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments. I thank you all for watching and listening and I will talk to you in the next video. Please give this video a thumbs up, comment below, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update from what's happening.